Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily Freibler, and today we are doing a foundation review from this new CoverGirl foundation called the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is not out yet. I guess it is kind of out. I've seen it at a drugstore and I almost picked it up before I got the package, but it should be all the way like out launched in June. I got my hands on this because CoverGirl sent me a huge packet. Okay, so if you were on Instagram and you follow me, then you would have seen this on my stories. You guys, this is so heavy. I got this box from CoverGirl. See, it's their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Oh my God, this is so heavy. And look at this. Okay, so, it, oh, it's sliding everywhere. Anyway, this is what it looks like. There's 40 foundation there's another layer right there and there's four primers and they sent me every single shade which is not so i'm definitely gonna have to donate some of these and give them to my friends and family but so generous thank you covergirl i love it i was so so fortunate to get this because first of all i get to try it out for you guys let you know before it like officially launches how it is and everything and also i get to officially like find my shade i love the shade match, it might be a tad dark actually, but it's so good. I'm so happy. The undertone is perfect. I go through everything. We do a wear test, all that jazz. So let's get in with the video. So they just came out with this new foundation called their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. They came out with 40 shades, which is so awesome. I still think that the deep shades aren't as deep as they should be. Not like that there isn't like a really deep shade, but like they don't have the same subtle differences that all the light shades have. I do think it is an amazing shade range. Like there is a ton of different stuff and I think people could probably find their match, but you never really know. And I feel like, you know, the light skin tone ones, there's a lot that look very very similar anyway i do applaud them for coming out with 40 shades though right off the bat that's amazing and then there are four different primers in the box i'm only going to be trying out one right now i'll let you know my thoughts later on maybe in a favorites video or something like that on the other ones so let's go in with the claims so it did come with this book in the pr kit and it says because we listened covergirl set out to create a foundation that works for all skin types so we listened to you and were inspired to create two True Blend Matte Made. Blend and Pinchers. It's like literally a storybook. <laughs> and then it says, inclusive of all skin needs, True Maze Matte Made, minimizes pores, controls shine, feels comfortable on your skin, and stays put for up to 12 hours. Everything is broken down into light, medium, tan, and deep, which is really, really awesome. And there's 10 shades in each category. And then it says that there's warm, cool, and neutral undertone callouts to help you find your perfect match which I was looking at a lot of the shades and many of them don't it says like true beige or something like that one a couple of them say like warm something but I still had to kind of look at the shades and see which one was cooler or warmer and stuff because you guys know I have more of a yellow undertone and I have a hard time finding foundations from the drugstore a lot of times that aren't too pink the shade I'm going to be using today is called Fair Beige L50. I did swatch a bunch of them on my face yesterday, like here, to see what my shade was. And this was the best shade match for me. So definitely has more of a yellow undertone to it, which I'm happy about. Also, it is oil-free, so if that's important to you, there you go. So you don't get shiny living your life. That's what it says. Transfer resistant, which I really appreciate because no one hates more something more than rubbing foundation onto someone when you're like hugging them or something like that. Freaking hate that. I'm gonna be using the color neutralizing primer. So it's just more of a green primer. I wanna see how it calms down some of this redness. I don't have a ton of redness on my face, but you know, we'll see whatever helps, whatever helps. The funny thing is that my um, skin gets red if I just kind of like touch it a little bit, you know? If I'm like putting this on, my skin's gonna kind of get red, so. Feels really nice. It's kind of lotion-y. It's not super silicone-y. I don't know if that really did too much. Like, let's see if I put a little bit no more on my nose. I mean, it might have toned stuff down a little bit. 
but I don't really think it's doing a whole lot. Let's get into the application. So like I said, I have L50. This is so nice to me. So this is a pump foundation, which you guys know I love, and it locks. So basically you just have to twist it to get it to pump again, but it locks in place, which I don't know if I've ever seen a foundation with a pump lock like that. So if you, for some reason you lose your cap, you can still lock the foundation when you're traveling and stuff like that. It has less chance of spilling in your bag if the cap falls off. I just, I love that idea and I think everybody should totally get on board with that. Like I always do, I'm gonna do a brush on this side and a sponge on this side to try out the foundation. Got a little bit on my brush. Ooh, it's covering nicely so far. Also, this foundation doesn't really have a price that I can distinctively find. I think it's Teen Vogue, yeah, Teen Vogue that I'm on did an article about it, and they said that it's anywhere between $8.49 and $11.49 for price, depending on the retailer that it's um, through, so. I can't really tell what the coverage is supposed to be, so it's not really claiming to be anything specific in my opinion. I would guess like a medium, medium to full. So far that's a decent amount of coverage. It's looking a little bit like streaky with the brush. So I'm thinking I might like it a little bit more with a sponge. So far I like how it's sitting on the skin though. Look how perfect that shade match is. I don't think I've had a, that perfect of a shade match in forever. I feel like I'm gonna have to get more foundation. Maybe I will like a brush better. Ugh, sponge. Oh, that's looking good. It's definitely looking matte. I mean, not like super, super matte, but definitely more matte on the skin. Coverage is about medium, I would say. Honestly, kind of liking how this side, the brush side is looking better than this side. The coverage maybe. I'm gonna go in with a brush and kind of go over it. I feel like lately I've been liking going in with a brush and then going in with a sponge afterwards to kind of smooth everything out. I mean, it depends on the foundation, but that's been working best for me a lot of the times lately. Yeah, I would say this is a medium coverage foundation. Like I tried to build it up as much as I could. It did build a little bit, but it's not, it's not building up to like super, super full coverage. I feel like it just looks super nice. I think I'm gonna finish the rest of my foundation, put a little concealer and powder and stuff like that on, and then I'll come back and tell you kind of my final thoughts so far, and then we'll do check-ins throughout the day. Okay, so I just put concealer on and powdered my nose, <laughs> actually my T-zone, but I wanted to test to see how transfer resistant it is because it said it was, and so I've been touching my face like this, and yeah, stuff came off. Barely anything, uh, barely anything has come off on my fingers, which usually so much foundation would come off. So I would say it is pretty transfer resistant. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to my makeup, but I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, you guys, I'm all done with my makeup. It was a red lip kind of day. This is the makeup. I feel like it just looks so nice on the skin. It's definitely very matte. So I used the, I used this Maybelline Fit Me powder, which I mean is mattifying, but it's not like super mattifying. And once I put that on, I felt like my face just like got like matte feeling. Um, so I do think I'm going to spray a setting spray, like a hydrating one, because I just am not used to this matte makeup anymore. I really like it. Like nothing is coming off. I don't think, yeah, nothing's coming off when I'm touching my face. So that's super nice. I really love that about this foundation. Super nice for the summertime. I hope this wears really well throughout the day because it's supposed to have a 12 hour wear life. It's 11.05 right now. I stopped doing my foundation around 11.30 or no, 10.30 or 10.45. So that's kind of our check-in time. So 
I will see you guys in a while. Hello you guys, it is currently almost 5 p.m. So it's been what, like five and a half, almost six hours since I put on the foundation and I just wanna do a little bit of a checkup. Please excuse my lipstick, it's been on literally since I did that last, um, last take I guess. And so I just wanted to share with you that I'm starting to get a little oily um, on my nose, if you can see. It's nothing bad at all. Like I could probably just blot this off and it'd be totally fine. But I just wanted to mention that I am getting a little bit oily. Like I said, I did not use a mattifying primer. I used this color neutralizing one. So that could be why. But other than that, the coverage is great. Nothing is rubbing off. It is just staying put. I'm going to blot my face real quick. I'm just going to take this tissue and just kind of blot a little bit. Okay, so this foundation seems to blot really well. Like, you know how there's those foundations that when you blot them, a ton comes off? Like, nothing came off. Like, just oils came off. So... I am going to probably work out kind of soon and I'm going to keep the foundation on, see how it wears through that. I don't think I'll be sweating all that much, but maybe a little bit. See ya. Hello you guys, I'm back for another check-in. It is currently 8, 8.52 p.m. And so this has been on for 10 and a little bit more hours-ish, 10-ish hours. So this is obviously the foundation. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of rubbed off in this area because I did work out. And like I said before, I thought it wasn't going to get that sweaty, but I did sweat quite a lot. So it's kind of rubbed off over here, like where I sweat, you know? Um, and also gotten a little like oily around my nose, obviously, because I was sweating. But to be honest, I think it looks pretty damn good like this area like my highlight is still there my uh, bronzer and everything like it's not like wearing off other than the areas that I was like sweating a lot and trying to just like blot it and stuff like that I would definitely wear this again especially for where matte foundation days I think it looks super super nice on the skin it doesn't like accentuate anything and I also don't really think it's settling too much in different places like around my nose and stuff it's not looking like cakey or anything thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in a video very very soon bye <laughs>